Yeah, hello everyone. Myself Maruti. Welcome you all to this Mac video session. In this video, I'm going to explain, or I have taken a topic from trigonometry, and I want to prove right cosecant theta minus sine theta into secant theta minus cos theta is equal to one by tan theta plus cot theta. This is what is supposed to prove now. Okay. So while dealing with the the question, let's see what's there in the question and where we have to reach. Right in the question we are having. So if you check it out, what's there in the question and what's there in the answer and what's the identities what we are supposed to follow to reach there, we'll get an idea. So if you see that we are having cosecant in the question, okay, and you are having sine in the question, right? You are having cos in the question and the secant, right? And if you check it out, we are having tan and cot in the okay so all these all these so whatever are the questions present here they are related with this one with the help of quotient identity see how to remember that one quotient identity quotient identity dealing with tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta this is the first one in the same way cot theta is equal to cos theta by sin theta this is the first relation what we have Okay, now if you deal with the cosecant and the tan and of course these guys all are dealing with the square identities also. What are the square identities dealing with cosecant and cot? So cosecant square theta minus cot theta, cot square theta is equal to 1. In the same way secant square theta minus cot square theta, tan square theta is equal to 1. These are the uh, <coughs> square identities and these are the quotient identities which are relating these. So always keep an idea that these are the things what we are supposed to use. Okay, now let us focus on quotient identities first, right? Means wherever you find a, a tan, you can place it on sine by cos in the same way part, cos by sine, those also. And we are having one more identities which is nothing but the reciprocal identities. Reciprocal or we can call it as multiplicative identities also. Okay, what are those? Sine theta into cosecant theta is equal to 1. That is the first reciprocal identity. In the same way as we are dealing with secant, we can say cos theta into secant theta is also 1. So, these are all the identities what we are supposed to keep in mind while dealing with those sums. Okay, why? Because we are having this stuff where we are supposed to reach for the answer. Now, now let's start working. So, what you say is cosecant theta. I like to start with the given concept. Right, what he says cosecant theta minus sine theta, okay, right, into secant theta minus cos theta is the given question for us. We need to reach this, okay. So, what I am doing straight away, I'm right. Okay. Cosecant as 1 by sine theta, of course, we are having sine theta inside. Okay, here also cos secant theta, I like to write it as 1 by cos theta. Just now I said to you, reciprocal identities. So cosecant is nothing but 1 by sine and secant is nothing but 1 by cos. That is what I have written. So minus cos theta, right? Now everything this is in terms of sines and here everything it is in terms of cos. Now let me take LCM there inside the parenthesis. If there is no one in the denominator, it's nothing but 1. Sine and 1 goes What's the LCM? Sine theta will be the LCM. Okay, right. So sine goes in sine. Same goes in same one time. Fix it, right? 4 into 1 is equal to 4. Means to get to 4 back, what should be multiplied to 4? 1. 4 into 1 is equal to 4. In the same way, sine into 1 is equal to sine. So sine goes in sine one time. 1 into 1 is 1. In the same way, minus. Now if there is nothing, it's 1. 1 goes in sine how many times? The same. Whenever we are checking 1, whatever is present here, we have to tell that. So 1 is going in sine, in sine time, sine into sine, it's nothing but sine square theta. Now let's go back for this one, taking the LCM. If there is no 1, it's nothing but 1. Cos and 1, the LCM is nothing but cos. Now cos goes in cos, same goes in same one time. 1 into 1 is nothing but 1 minus 1 goes in cos, cos time. Cos into cos, it's nothing but cos square. 
1.1. So now, if you check it out, question, do you have any squares here? No, we don't have any squares here, but we got in terms of squares here. That two, sine square and cos square, then obviously we go with the square identity. So you have to remember, right? You please remember this logic. So what's that? Sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. That's the formula. What do you have? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. It's nothing but square identity 1. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Basing upon that, 1 minus sin square, if you send uh, cos square to that side, 1 minus cos square is equal to sin square. In the same way, 1 minus sin square is nothing but we'll be getting it as cos square theta by sin theta into here 1 minus cos square you right see here so if you leave sine square here and if you send the cos square to the other side 1 minus cos square theta so wherever you find 1 minus cos square there what we are supposed to keep it's nothing but sine square we are able to see 1 minus cos square therefore i'm keeping it as sine square theta of course what do you have it's cos theta Okay, now if you check it out, so cos square means cos into cos. Okay, there are means two cos into cos is there. I can cancel this and I can means remove, means one more cos is there. In the same way, sine here, sine square means sine into sine. If you there are two sine into sine, one sine is cancelled, one more. So what is left over? Cos theta. The right cos theta, right here it is cos theta, and here no one is there. Here it is nothing but sine theta. Till here, we are done, we are safe till here. This is a logical sum which we are supposed to do in this method. So, what I am doing, I am taking the LHS. This I can call it as RHS. Yes, it's nothing but RHS. Right now, I'm considering the LHS part. The LHS part. So, let me consider the LHS part here. So, what is the LHS part? 1 by it's nothing but tan theta plus cot theta. Right. So, what we are having here, we are having everything in terms of sines and cos. Therefore, what I am doing, 1 by tan can be written as sine theta by cos theta. And here, cot can be written as cos theta by sine theta. What did I do? I took the LHS. Where did we stop? We have stopped there at RHS. RHS, what we got? Cos theta into sine theta. I am working on the LHS part. 1 by tan theta plus cot theta. Tan can be written as, just now I said, tan can be written as sine by cos. So, tan I have written as sine by cos. Cot can be written as cos by sine. That is what? Now, you take LCM there. 1 by denominator, what we are getting? Cos theta into sine theta. Now, cos goes in cos. Whatever we are seeing, close that. Whatever is beside, we have to tell that. So how many times cos is going? What is there beside it? Sin. Sin into sin. It's nothing but sin square theta. Plus is there plus. Now how many times sin goes? Whichever you are seeing close that and tell the one which is beside it. Cos. Cos into cos. It's nothing but cos square theta. Okay, okay. Now, as you all know, what is left over? 1 by, you know, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to how much? It's nothing but square identity 1. So, which is nothing but 1 by cos theta into sin theta, right? Now, 1 by 1 by cos theta into sin theta is nothing but if you reciprocate it. So, we'll be getting it as, we'll be getting it as, if you shift this one to the numerator, we get it as cos theta into sin theta, which is nothing but R. Where did we start? It's nothing but R LHS. Okay. So, where did we stop? It's nothing but RHS cos theta into sin theta. LHS, it's nothing but cos theta into cos sin theta. We got C. If you are not satisfied with the way we are dealing, instead of LHS and RHS proving, you can do one more thing. After getting this answer, start copying the steps in the reverse. Means copy, see here we are stuck. Then copy down this, then go for this, then go for this, then you will go for this. Means copy the steps in the reverse order, that is also fine. So LHS is equal to RHS, we can say this In this channel, I have been placing both math and science videos.